As we embark into the recovery phase, emerging out of the health situation, we are witnessing the rise of many industries and stocks that have long been suppressed. Analysts are noting the drastic surge in consumer spending in the past few months, and this is expected to continue for the foreseeable future. During the lockdowns throughout 2020 and into the beginning of 2021, many people were actively prevented from discretionary spending and in turn, saving rates skyrocketed. As we leave the global health situation behind us, analysts are anticipating spending on leisure and travel activities like none other. We have already seen many recovery stocks beginning to surge in valuation due to investors projecting this coming wave in spending, and the company of today's episode is no different. On yesterday's trading period alone, the stock surged almost 20% as investors flood recovery stocks. With the phenomenal summer weather approaching, vaccination rates drastically increasing, and pent-up demand for leisure activities, the company of today's episode is a perfectly positioned, under-the-radar stock. Welcome to the show, everyone. My name is Nick. This one's going to be a fun one. Make sure to always come to your own conclusions whenever allocating capital on the stock market. Penny stocks do come with more potential reward. However, this is typically paired with increased risk. Disclaimer, this is a sponsored video. Do your own due diligence. Don't just take my word for it because I'm saying it on the internet. Do as much research as possible before allocating capital. All right, ladies and gents, let's jump right into it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm first going to go over the company, who they are and what they do. I'm then going to go over where they see themselves moving in the coming quarters and finally cover their analytics, statistics, balance sheet and charting. Okay, so the tech startup of today's episode is called Bodum Incorporated, headquartered in beautiful Miami, Florida. They are trading on the OTC markets under ticker symbol BTIM and were founded through a private funding round back only in 2018. Very new on the markets. Before we get to why the stock is surging in valuation up almost 20% on yesterday's trading period, let's first do a quick background. This one, in my opinion, is a great play for diversifying your portfolio, not focusing too exclusively on the tech and med sectors, which I think have already seen the majority of their run-up. Bodum is a company moving into the boating world and harnessing the future frenzy anticipated in this industry. Now, we are seeing many recovery stocks surging as investors and in institutional capital reallocate away from the tech plays that carried into value, leisure, and travel that is expected to surge for the remainder of 2021 and into next year as countries ease restrictions. Now, the boating industry is one that is currently exponentially increasing in size and user accessibility. Paired with the recovery and exit from lockdowns, we are all already seen the pent-up increase in consumer spending. The boating market just hit a 13-year high of around $47 billion USD in 2020 alone. This represents a growth of 9% year over year. I find many investors actually tend to overlook a lot of booming markets and stocks that don't get as much attention simply because they're not as flashy. The boating industry is actually expected to continue growing at an incredible rate as used, new, and rentals are all up. Dealerships are struggling to keep up with the relentless demand as more first-time buyers enter into the market. Now, what Bodum does specifically is serve as a next-generation platform, which acts as a mediator, connecting boat buyers and sellers of both new and used boats. It uses artificial intelligence and data analytics to deliver high-quality results for its sellers and buyers. We've seen similar disruptors in the vehicle market from Carvana, which is now valued at $39 billion. Bodum is replicating this approach in the boating market. They are currently expanding their market presence and improving their product usability to ultimately refine and ease their user experience. The company is making huge moves on the market and are aggressively expanding. They onboarded more than 180 dealers across 15 countries in 2020 alone. This enabled them to reach 35 million boating enthusiasts through more than 1,600 campaigns launched through their boating dealers every single month. Now, what I really enjoy about this product is they are creating a community and building a social media platform around all things boating. This allows distributors to easily engage with their networks, import their inventory, 
and most importantly, obtain quality leads from ready to buy customers. This is currently missing in the industry. Boat users can explore the products and connect with other boat enthusiasts and brands, really forming a community. The boating industry is currently terribly fragmented with a severe lack of innovation in the industry itself. Dealers are stuck paying across multiple platforms, resulting in limited transparency and no clear ROI. Bodum is enabling AI and machine learning through a data-driven foundation to generate a network connectivity between buyers and sellers, ridding the world of the outdated current systems. Bodum also sees this as the perfect way to connect the next tech-savvy generation of boat buyers with dealers in a one-stop, easy-to-use online experience. Their company is conglomerating the fragmented industry into one easy-to-use system for buying, selling, licensing, training, contracts, financing, and insurance. Now looking at their charting, their shares are currently sitting at 43 cents USD, up a mammoth 19.44% on yesterday's trading period alone, nearly 20% over the course of one day. They are a nano cap company with a market cap of 22.21 million, so lots of room to run here. Insiders hold the majority of shares at 63.45%, which typically shows that management believes in the future prospects of the company. They have been growing their total assets. However, it is important to note that the company has not started generating substantial revenue as of yet. By digitizing the current offline practices, they do expect to be able to rapidly grow their market share in the coming quarters. They are also expanding into Barcelona to harness the growing boating European market and recently established a new development hub there. I really do like this company and the industry, with over 15 million privately owned boats in the US, and alongside the pent up discretionary income, Bodum is seizing the moment and acting fast. Now, whenever looking at a company, I like to take a deep dive into their management. Their CEO is Wolfgang Tipner. He is a private equity and venture capitalist with over 40 years of experience. He has previously served as director of both public and private companies and is a passionate boater and global venture builder. Patrick Hanis, a tech entrepreneur specializing in scalable and distributed services, is the company's CTO. He has held multiple lead development positions since 2000. Ben Salter is head of operations with 18 years in finance and advisory roles at major corporations like ENY, Citigroup, and Syngenta. And Matthew Grady is the company's head of sales, having served in roles in fintech, mobile ad tech, luxury fashion, and has ample experience in sales. I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. All in all, I think this is a really interesting way to diversify your portfolio and to get your foot into the recovery stock frenzy that many analysts believe will continue to surge throughout the remainder of 2021 and into 2022. I will be keeping a close eye on this company. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Remember to always come to your own conclusions whenever allocating capital on the stock market. Although penny stocks do come with more potential reward, this is paired with increased risk. Do your own due diligence, formulate your own opinions. Anyways, everyone, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, happy trading, cheers.